Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Former California Congressman T.J. Cox indicted by a federal grand jury for a long list of financial crimes. From 2013 to 2018, Cox is accused of defrauding over $1.7 million from clients and company loans and using money from his 2018 campaign to, quote, reimburse family members and associates for donations. U.S. regulators have finalized a guideline to allow millions of people to buy hearing aids without a prescription. The new rule goes into effect this fall. Devices for more severe hearing loss will remain prescription only. The Academy of Motion Pictures has apologized to Shaheen Littlefeather nearly 50 years after she declined an Oscar on behalf of Marlon Brando. The Academy apologized for the abuse she endured that night and will host her for an evening of celebration and healing next month. Thousands of batches of Capri Sun are being recalled after some cleaning solution allegedly accidentally mixed with juice on the production line. You should return the juice to the store for a refund. First Lady Jill Biden is isolating after testing positive for COVID-19. She reportedly started feeling mild symptoms late Monday. President Biden has tested negative. He had COVID earlier this month. Airbnb says it's rolling out new technology to spot and block people who try to use the service to throw a party. The new system examines the renter's history on Airbnb, how far they live from the rental listing, and other factors. A new proposal would increase fees at Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. If approved, the $22 standard campsite fee would rise to $28 next year and $32 in 2024. John Barrett Middle School's new modernized campus opened today featuring a brand new science building, administration building, and multi-purpose room. Current classrooms were also fully modernized to meet new standards. The students also have a new outdoor quad to enjoy. A pair of twins celebrating their 21st birthday. They're also celebrating 20 years since they were separated. The Guatemalan women were joined at birth at the brain and cranium. They were separated in a high-risk surgery. More than two months after running away, Abby the dog was found alive in a Missouri cave. Abby normally weighs about 50 pounds. When she was found, she had lost half her body weight. She's since recovered most of that. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.